Waukesha officials are saying they are expecting the number of victims to increase throughout the day as they continue their investigation. Here's where the parade actually took place yesterday afternoon. We do have video of that incident happening. Take a look at this. You can see the SUV on the parade route. This video was taken right after the SUV broke through the barriers. We stopped the video before the tragedy happened. Now, this took place yesterday before 5 p.m. during a Christmas parade. The Waukesha mayor said it was for celebrating the community. Waukesha police told us at least 12 of the victims were children. The SUV appeared to crash into multiple members of a school marching band. Right now, police do have a person of interest in custody. The Associated Press is reporting that the driver of the vehicle may have been fleeing from a crime when he crashed through the barriers. That was described as an altercation with a knife. An AP source is saying the person in custody is a 39 year old man possibly out on bond for another offense. Now there are reports of gunfire. Police are saying that was an officer shooting at the suspect's SUV trying to stop it. The FBI is helping out with this investigation. We did speak to a witness who saw the incident unfold from her balcony. So I saw it strike the um, band that had just passed my apartment complex and plowed into at least three people running over two of them. One of the two got up, the other one did not for quite some time. It kept going all the way down the block to People's Park, the stoplight, and continued straight through it, and that's all that I saw. And it continued to strike pedestrians and people along the way. And we do know that the Waukesha School District did cancel school for today. They do have grief counselors at their schools, though. We are hearing that there will be a press conference later on this afternoon. Of course, you can check in with us later to get more information on this situation. For now, we're in Waukesha. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.